Okay, today we're going to go over the issue that a lot of uh, Creative Vado users are experiencing with uh, Windows Movie Maker. Um, there's some fixes in here. If they don't work, I do have another solution for you. This is mostly, I believe, pertains to uh, Windows Vista 64-bit users, which is what I'm currently running. And I have the issue where I get audio but no video, and that's what most of us are experiencing. So, a um, little how-to. The first thing you want to do is check your, check your XVID settings. So go to Programs, go to XVID, Configure Decoder. Make sure this compatibility render, renderer is uh, checked. If it's not, that could be your issue. That could be all it takes. So mine's already checked, so mine's working fine now. So um, if that's it, then you're done. Um, if not, the first thing you may want to download is this FFD show. So you download it, um, and I'll put a link to this website in my uh, description. So you download it. Once you get it downloaded, install it, and then go to all programs and make sure it's actually running. So um, here it is right here. Go to configuration, and make sure you've got this H.264 slash ABC running, um, which should be. Okay, so you've done that. That doesn't work. The only other thing that you want, might want to try, and after you do these, you may want to restart the computer each time, um, is actually download a new XVID uh, driver, codec, I should say. Um, I'm currently using the one point, uh, I think one, one dot, uh, let me see here, I am using, nope, that's not the screen you want to go to, go to XVID, release notes. Um, I'm using 1.2.1. .1. Um, this is for a 64 bit version. I think they have 1.2.2 out now. Um, this seemed to have corrected my problem. Actually, the codec alone corrected my problem. The FFD show did not correct my problem. So, let's say you've done all this, you've restarted your PC. Um, be sure to do a restart after you install them both. It, it doesn't hurt to install them both, so you might, you might as well um, do a restart and then try. Um, if not, the other solution would be Windows Movie Maker Live. Um, download it, install it, and here's what it looks like. We'll give you a shot of what it looks like here. Windows Live Movie Maker. It's right here. Um, you drag your videos in through here. Um, you can import them. Um, it's a pretty good program. I actually was going to use this until I found a fix for mine. Uh, I just took a little bit of trial and error. But uh, I did use it for a couple videos, and it works great. Um, other than that, um, unless you get something like Vegas Pro or, or something like that, uh, that's about your only solution. Uh, I do have Vegas Pro. I just uh, haven't really messed with it a lot. I don't, you know, I just make these videos, so I'm not real good with editing, obviously. Um, so I just choose to use Windows Movie Maker. It's just so easy. But uh, other than that. Uh, Please rate, uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, more videos to come. Thanks for watching.